the network. Your networking situation and how you guys were able to get in contact with YB and Corday's manager. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, yeah. So basically, this this has a funny story actually. So, like basically, like we we make our own music, but we also produce and like it's you know we're inspired by like Kanye, Ryan, Leslie, like all these guys who sort of have this sort of double edged sword where they make their own music, but just as great as they write songs for other people and produce songs for other people. So that's definitely something that we want to do, and that that should that we want that to be part of our legacy. And so I was going to the YBN Corday show. <clears throat> AP and I meet up like four or five times a week, just like work on music. And I'd gotten like the day before the show, I got this like email basically. And it said like your meet and greet package with YB and Corday comes with this, this, this. And I'm like, I didn't even get a meet and greet package. This is crazy. But then I was like, fuck, if I'm getting a meet and greet, like what am I I doing? I'm going to make something happen. Right. And so we just sort of like hopped on like a group call. This is back when I worked at like when I was working my nine to five too. So I just like hopped into like, you know, a meeting room real quick, like had a quick conference call with like AP and like our manager and everything. We're like, yo, what can we do that's like unique to get his attention? Uh, AP came over that night. We basically like just did some research and we like figured out that he was hella into um, like Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, like just anime in general. And so we were like, yo, like, let's not just go up to him and give him a USB. Cause bro, he's yeah. going to like slap that shit out of our hands and be like, get the fuck like, out Let's of not pull the like, here's like 10 beats card right like, yeah no it's, it's just not gonna work that way and so uh, so we're like yo let's think of a unique way to it's about framing it right and so we realized because he's super into Yu-Gi-Oh I was just like yo I think actually AP said this as a joke because we're corny like we like we like just cracking dad jokes and shit he was like he was like yo we, <laughs> he was like yo we should we should make him the YBN core deck and I said it as a joke he said I, it <laughs> like I just said I was like joke. but I was like bro stop this guy looked at me like that's <laughs> that's genius like that's genius and then i was like Yu-Gi-Oh cards right and so what we did is like while ap was working on the beats and mixing and mastering them that night we were up until like 5 a.m that night it's crazy i was just like photoshopping his face onto these Yu-Gi-Oh cards basically and yeah you can yeah, show I'll, you can, I'll pull up yeah why don't we pull up yeah. like the Yu-Gi-Oh card real quick real quick like, this is one of him on obelisk if y'all know so, obelisk if you know about Yu-Gi-Oh, you oh then you know obelisk the tormentor yes sir that's yeah so these cards basically what we did is i i went and i printed these cards out the next day because i was going to the show ap wasn't with me but i we put qr codes on these cards which basically the qr codes would lead like if you scanned it would go to a soundcloud link and it would basically um like those are the beats basically um and so i get to the venue and lo and behold the security guards like anyone who got an email about meet and greet it's a it, it was a glitch you're not getting meet and greet so now I'm like, shit, like, what are we going to do? Just put it all this work into this. It's like, Fuck. you got to get to it. You know? Yeah. And you know how venue people be like, you're going up to the bartender security and they're like, I don't give a shit, bro. I don't give a shit if you need to get this to him. Like, that's not my job. I'm like, all right, whatever. I'm just in the crowd real quick. And, and I'm like, I'm with like five of my boys. So I'm like, guys, I'm going to tweet this real quick. I need this tweet to go viral. So I need you guys to share this with like every single one of your like WhatsApp groups. And then everyone needs to start tagging YBN Corday. Cause I did the calculation. He gets like like 50 mentions in an hour so i was like yo if we can get him like 20 mentions in like 10 minutes like he's gonna see it for sure and he's backstage and everything so i took a photo of like the Yu-Gi-Oh card deck and i was like yo we made this for you like like i'm in the i'm in the crowd they won't let me into like meet and greet what's up he saw it within 10 minutes and then he was like yo my man's about to dm you we linked up with his manager he like took it which is like obviously like we chopped it up real quick now has ybn corday hopped on one of our beats no no but if i'm being real with you like it's we don't necessarily look at this like i'm thinking i'm thinking six Long seven term. i'm thinking 10 years man i'm not thinking like like you know like why didn't he use one of our beats i'm thinking like we're cre- crafting this relationship with someone who's obviously like killing it in the game and like coming up and to be honest like probably even more valuable is like connecting with his manager because if we ever need to connect with like a booking agent, shit i hope he doesn't watch this but if we if we ever need to like connect with a booking agent or something and like we need that intro like hopefully he got us right or someone else or whatever it is and so he came back actually like he really like he loved the he loved the Yugo cards he put it on his story and everything which was dope um then when they came back this was even more important they came back again uh six months later recently he opened for logic um 
And at that show, we were like, yo, we have to like follow up because the follow up is just as important. Like that's how you build a relationship. You can have like the first touch point, but the first touch point doesn't mean shit if you just like drop off. And so we made him Harry Potter cards, but this was what was really important. We made cards for every single one of it, like everyone in a circle. So we made cards for his producer, for his engineer and his manager because those are the people that matter, man. Like yeah. YBN Corday is getting like, he's getting a million messages a day. These guys, they're doing just as much work, but they're not necessarily getting this. So like when we hit them up, they're like, yo, we appreciate you for thinking of us. Right. And we met up with like all of them, gave them the cards. And now like where it's at now is like, we just hopefully have good relationships with them. How did you get their attention the second time? What's up? How did you get their attention the second time? Uh, so I have like notifications like on Insta of like whenever they go live or anything like that. And <laughs> this, I don't know if I can say, I can probably say this. It's fine. Like, so they, they went live, like, uh, Cam, his manager and like his producer on the tour bus. And they're like, yo man, we're just, bro. Like we're, there's no weed out here. Like this fucking Washington's boring as fuck. And I'm like, yo, y'all are in Toronto, right? Like I got y'all on that loud. <laughs> like when you come here, <laughs> and I just said it as a joke or whatever, but that he was like, yeah. And then they were like, oh shit, that's the Yu-Gi-Oh card guy. Yo, yo, link me up, link up, link up. And I already had Cam's number. So I texted him. Cam's the manager. Cam's the manager. Sorry. I texted him and, uh, you know, linked up with them, like, uh, gave them the cards. I, I showed them the cards and they were like, yo, dope. Um, how I reached out to the, oh, sorry, this is really important. My bad. Skipped over this detail, but we had a direct line with Cam, but like, you know, the producer didn't know us, the engineer didn't know us. These other guys obviously didn't know us. Um, and so we emailed them also, like we emailed them, like we planned it out so that a week before the show, we were like, yo, come link with us in like Toronto in a week, we have these for you. And we sent that to the engineer and the producer. Cause we knew that if this guy didn't respond, at least this guy would respond and this guy could get everyone else the cards. Like it was basically like hoping that like one of them, at least would, one of them. Yeah. One of them would be the gateway at least, but, and it turned out great because all of them responded, but like, we just had that sort of in mind to bulletproof it. Dope. Dope. Yeah, man. It's the network.